You know, we have lots of funny names for Django in our family. Sometimes we call him the schnitzel or the janger or even Bubba Joe. In Mark chapter 2, Jesus called his disciples. But how did he call them? I know, our treasure chest can help us out. All right, y'all, make some guesses. Do you think Jesus used this to call his disciples? Nah, they didn't have cell phones in Jesus' day. Oh, I know, an old-timey phone, right? No. Oh, Jane, though, I think it's for you. Jesus called his disciples with a personal invitation. He invited them personally, face to face. And he invited them to come and spend time with him every day and to learn from him. So do you have any teachers or instructors who are teaching you in your life right now? Like maybe a gymnastics teacher or a baseball coach, track and field coach? or a guitar teacher, piano teacher? Well, what do you do? You spend time with them and learn from them so that you can learn to do what they can do so well. So you can do it just like they do. And do you know how Django learned how to catch bubbles? Well, he hung out with a little toddler. And as a little toddler would catch bubbles, Django learned to catch bubbles, and he still does. <laughs> well, Jesus chose 12 disciples, and then in Mark chapter 3, Jesus goes a step further, and he tells them that they are his apostles. And apostles is a fancy word meaning that Jesus called them to be his messengers. They became his representatives to do his work in the world. Listen to the beautiful words of Jesus in John chapter 15, verse 16. Jesus said, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Jesus chooses you today to know him and to love him and to be his messenger in the world to bring the love and truth of Jesus.